Oh hi, I'm sitting out in the garden in a, a beautiful day. I feel so uh, blessed. I'm one of the officially uh, shielded because of uh, three or four things that would make it very serious if I got uh, a coronavirus. I've got my uh, lung condition, I've got uh, heart problems, I've got diabetes and uh, a faulty uh, or a lowered immune system because of um, medication so it's a quadruple whammy as it were and uh, but I'm very grateful I just feel so blessed compared with many who are uh, shut away in less favorable circumstances and maybe shut away alone and you know it's given me chance just to do things that I don't normally do I, I hardly ever watch uh, any TV apart from the news and um, that's not for religious reasons I know some uh, have decided before God they don't want a TV and that's fine. Uh, I've not made a decision like that, I just happen not to watch much TV. But um, I was watching a drama series called The Nest that maybe some of you saw on uh, BBC One. It's too long to go into the, the story of it all, uh, but basically it's fiction and it's about surrogacy and uh, the, one of the central characters, in fact the central character is a, a young girl who has uh, lived a really difficult life and there's a, a necklace that she wears and that's a, a symbol of a lie under which she's lived her life uh, for many years and at the end of the story she just rips that necklace off as a sign that she's releasing herself from that lie that has uh, dominated her life and uh, I thought that was a really powerful imagery and I couldn't help wondering if it was an imagery worth sharing. Perhaps there's uh, some of you who listen to this blog, uh, this vlog. I, I find that often my ministry has been to those who have had a, a difficult start in life and when we've had a difficult start in life we can, we, we can carry the equivalent of that necklace uh, around our neck. Uh, maybe a lie that we've been told often uh, about ourselves that's simply not true but because it was said by somebody significant or maybe it was an event involving significant people and significant harm and somehow that has given us an identity and we've worn that almost as a, a necklace almost feeling if I let go of that even though it's a lie and even though it's harmful then uh, somehow I'll, I'll lose myself. Uh, the wonderful last scene of the nest was just that as this young girl took that necklace off, there was a sign of life widening out. Uh, she hadn't lost herself, in fact she was beginning uh, to find herself. Uh, I wonder if in this uh, coronavirus sort of isolation, self-isolating, shutdown, uh, shielding, whatever your status is as it were or your status uh, in that um, in these strange times I wonder if some of us maybe have the time in our hands and it's not always comfortable to have time in your hands but maybe maybe you're remembering some of these necklaces or feeling that uh, they're beginning to choke and beginning to feel a bit tight and uh, restrict you or to change the imagery, maybe there's thoughts running around your head that have been controlling your own life for, for too long. Maybe it's time just to ask God for the courage and the faith just to tear these lies off of you that lie about who you are and lie about what life can be for you and just throw them away. It's a good time just to clear out I was actually, I think what led to these thoughts today was actually, I was reading in Psalm 101 and uh, I read these words and, and I, I just passed over them and then I just felt drawn back to them. It might be King David that's speaking here. It says it's a Psalm of David and he says this, I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. I hate the work of those who fall away, it shall not cling to me. And there's uh, David deciding that 
as a king, he would need counsel. As a, a king, he would need support. But he wasn't going to allow uh, things said by those who had fallen away, uh, who'd shown no loyalty or love to him, who'd shown no loyalty or love to the Lord. He wasn't going to let these things cling to him, but he was actually going to throw them away. I found myself throwing away even a, what had once been a good thing uh, for me. I loved the writings of Jean Vanier, but uh, as we found out, sadly, he was a serial uh, sex abuser of uh, women. And uh, I decided that as somebody who tries to help the abused, I felt I couldn't have these uh, books in my house any longer. And I, and I didn't want something uh, from somebody who had habitually uh, fallen away, uh, despite the, the truths that he seemed to declare in his writings. I didn't want that to cling to me and through me to perhaps cling to anybody else uh, any longer. And I didn't want to give the books to anyone uh, to be infected by by that spirit. And so they, they went in the bin. I'm not going to allow uh, that to cling to me, which comes from those who fall away. And uh, it's time maybe for you to just clear out just things that have influenced you and you may even almost need them. But I want to say to you in the name of the Lord, you don't need them if they came from those who have shown no loyalty or love to you and no loyalty or love to the Lord. And instead, you can make a decision later on in Psalm 101. I will look with favour on the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. Maybe this is a time when new friendships will happen, perhaps through social media. Maybe you'll have contact with people in your church that you've not had contact with before and have perhaps overlooked. It's a wonderful thing when those who have remained faithful uh, to us, maybe not ostentatiously so, demonstratively so. It's a wonderful thing when those who have remained faithful to the Lord are those who we allow to come close to us and speak into our lives and, and begin to undo some of these sentences uh, that are in our head and speak worth and speak life into us instead of things that sap life and destroy it. And you know, in the strength of those who've been faithful to the Lord, who've not fallen away from the Lord, who've known them over the years and can minister to us something of his truth and grace, Sometimes then we have the courage to see these other things that cling to me, that came from folk who ultimately have not shown faithful love to the Lord or upbuilding love to me. However long that's been there, I don't need it and I can take it off. And we find when we do, it's the amazing thing that actually far from our life disappearing as we feared it would, if we let go that wrong identity, we find that life opens to us and beckons to us at something of life in all its fullness to more than replace all that the thief has sought to steal, kill and destroy. So God bless you. Whatever it may be that needs removed, I pray that you'll remove it and that you'll find life. God bless and bye for now.